So, Julian, here we are in um, Four Horseshoes, l a lovely house. Can you tell me about the renovation project? What was involved here? What did you do? Okay, we bought the house, we bought this property about six, seven years ago, and then put in for planning permission to increase it by 40%, to actually take it from the state it was in the 1950s and 1960s to bring it up to date for the 21st century. So we actually looked at increasing the accommodation and putting a, for example, there was no proper staircase, no proper kitchen. So we needed to actually improve the property and therefore put in planning permission to take down and rebuild up to 40 to 50% of the property all at the same time. Uh, having two sons and obviously a family running around the house was going to create stress on the house. So we knew we had to cater for boys growing up from a young age right through to teenage and onwards. So the house had to cater for those type of growing pains in conjunction with the family. That's great. So um, how important was technology to you when you were planning this project? What made you start to think about uh, home automation? Home automation uh, has become very important because it's to future-proof the property. So controlling every aspect of the house, right from security, lighting, heating, and also sound from a single panel right across the property, even remotely, is actually very important to be implemented. So we actually looked at making sure that as the family grew, we could monitor the house, for example, from remote cameras, we can turn lights on and off, we can monitor the heating, we can do everything from a single web page from wherever we are across the world. And how did you go about finding a technology partner to help you with this project? We followed two or three different paths. We actually talked to people that we knew and it, it, seems to, it seemed at that time that people weren't willing to take the plunge and make sure that the house, their houses were capable of taking on the technology. So we looked around and we went to a couple of shows. The um, Home Renovation Show was one of them, where we saw a few vendors at the shows and liked the technology, and then we started to research the technology. We also started to look at other case studies that they, those, those particular organisations had done. So the critical path for us was to find other people in a similar situation who had taken the technology and pushed it to the link and therefore pushed it to the brink and future-proofed that technology. So the technology could actually move as technology does every year it increases. So therefore we needed technology that would do exactly the same. That. So it could be advanced and was based on industry standard architectures as well. So, so why did you select WebBrick? Uh, WebBrick was selected for a few reasons. The first, the first element was that it actually was future-proof and everything that came, new technology that came on, we actually found it was typically implemented quite quickly. So, for example, I didn't realise as I was going through the buying process that I wanted to link the audio Sonos in with WebBrick, but I found that was automatic. I also found that to implement, for example, temperature sensors internal and external was very, very simple to do. So certain elements started to come to the fore, controlling the mood lighting, controlling the uh, security, all from a single panel was actually quite important, whereas other vendors were, would focus, let's say, on security only, or they would focus on mood lighting, or they'd focus on audio. And it was, it was these multiple different vendors that I turned and said, well, actually, I want a single vendor to go to a single company, which is where Webbrick came from, to actually control all the heating, all the lighting, security, and the sound. And also, as new technology comes along, they can actually expand with that new technology. So Webbrick was selected against uh, some very, very large competitors. And my customers had implemented a lot of these competitors into uh, not just um, domestic, but commercial installations that I looked at. So I looked at commercial installations, for example, in the centre of London, but it was only focusing on the lighting and the presentation media and no other. So there was no security, for example. Thank you. And what's it like for you and your family living in a web brick house? It's very easy to manage. So by deploying web brick, what we've actually found is that the boys aged four and nine can actually control the lighting themselves can go and turn the heating on and off themselves from a single panel and they know how to do it and control the external lighting. The lights automatically come on, the LED lights automatically come on at particular times at sunset and sunrise and as sunset and sunrise happens it makes the boys route in the evening if they want to get up and, and go to the toilet for example. Then these lights actually guide their way and not very bright lights so it doesn't hurt them when they turn the light on 
the light doesn't need to be on, it's already on. So living with Webbrick has actually found that we've um, basically able to control our heating costs, for example. Our heating costs, when we estimated to increase the property by 40%, I estimated that our cost would increase by 40%. And I was looking at the budgets for the future heating bills, and that is uh, gas and electric. I sat there and said, okay, where are we going to get our, our payback on this? And I actually estimated it would go up by that figure. By implementing Webbrick and having multiple zones and able to control those zones down to a point of a degree meant that my heating bills have not gone up at all from the previous house. So increasing it by 40% has meant that my heating bills, or my electricity bills, so that includes my lighting bills, have not actually gone up at all. So that's exactly the same as when, before, before we did the work, post doing the work. That's great. And were the, the fact that, uh, the fact that uh, Webbrick is built on open standards, was that important to you? It was, because it's, it's, the Webbrick gateway is actually on a, on a Linux server which meant that the uptime of the server was actually very important. I didn't want my family to have to have to keep looking at technology when I was not in. I wanted the system to carry on running independent of any intervention from anyone. So I wanted the system to be up and running and constant. And the only intervention that my family would have to do is if they wanted the heating hotter or they wanted the lighting turned on in particular rooms or they wanted to put certain sound systems on in those rooms. And I guess for that they can use the technology that they love and understand already, things like an iPod Touch or a Mac. Yeah. So by the family can actually go around the house and control all the technology by using, let's say, an iPod Touch or a Mac or a PC through a standard browser interface. So even if they're in their bedrooms, they can connect to any aspect of the web interface and control the heating or the lighting in their own particular rooms without even having to get out of the bed. Now, if there is a... Um, an issue, for example, my son woke, recently woke up the other night and said uh, he can't sleep, so we actually turned the lights on automatically for him and we were able to help him. And then when he went off to sleep, the lights went off. So everything was actually controlled by a single handset from our bedrooms without having to go to a PC or a Mac to control that interface. I'm going to ask you about how the, the web brick switch plates, how they've integrated with the, the decor in the house. Okay. By having a, an older property, and the, the part of the property was built in 1650, the next section of the building was 1850. We needed to make sure that the technology actually integrated in the, um, in the architecture of the property very closely. So the fireplaces, for example, are all in keeping with the age of the property. So the switch plates and the technology that's around here is very unobtrusive. So it's ultra-modern, and you can see that the switch plates are there and they illuminate when lights go on and, and dim when lights go off, for example. So by having the latest technology integrated with an older property, it brings the property up into the 21st century. And the final thing I'm going to ask you, Julian, thanks very much for that. The final thing I'm going to ask about is um, what your next project with Webbrick might be. The, the next element that we're actually going to bring in and integrate with the Webbrick is integrating the gate, so the gate and alerting people who come to the gate, so as soon as they arrive at the gate, we'll get a video feed from the gate and be able to open the gate automatically from the Webrick interface.